Hello everyone and welcome back to Vernon Gaming. You currently join me again in Forza Horizon, Hot Wheels Horizon Festival Place Thingy Bob. I just pressed my horn by mistake, but you won't hear it because once again, I believe my audio is messing up so you can just hear my voice. Um, in the last video, we managed to get away from all this silly billy bee stuff and we are now doing A-class races. Where's my A-class races? I swear we had A-class races put on our map. Hmm. Well, I thought we did, but let's just carry on with this one anyway. Um, a B-class race. It does mean, however, we are going to have to um, use another car. This car is A-class. Um, this is completely stuck, by the way, guys. Um, I'm going on my little adventure now because this isn't the complete right way. I'm just using my sense of direction and going against the direction of the sat-nav, which is probably a silly idea, but I'm going to go with it. Um, let's go this way because that's the way sat-nav tells us to go. Whoa. Whoa, quickly, quickly, quickly. Get back onto the road. Wow, this problem, when you don't have traction control on, you just spin around like a lunatic. Rightio, now let's try and not hit anything as we try and make our way back up to the road. Can you call this a road? I don't know, stop spinning your wheels, you stupid car. Rightio, so we're now driving to our next event. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, this car is completely stuck, so the speed it's going at is um, normal. My phone's just gone off, so sorry if you heard that in the background. Whoa, drift around this corner. I think we've shot past it, though. Now let's quickly do a quick evasive, not evasive, um, a quick change of direction. Oh, dear, we just hit the wall, and we nearly drove straight into the water. That would have been bad for us. Right, okay, this is a turning we were meant to take. Yeah, it is very hard to have a good sense of direction around here because everything looks exactly the same. It's all orangeness. There's no, um, what is it? There's no road signs. There's no nothing like that. Um, can we literally just go straight over here? I know this car doesn't look too good at off-roading, but it could save us a few seconds. And that was a good shortcut over the rocks. I'm loving it already. Right, yeah, so now we're going to try and um, get back on to the thing. I think this has actually slowed us down more than speed us up. And that road does look very exciting, actually. It's very twisty and very turny. So I'm kind of upset that we came off. I didn't mean to come off there. I did try and, make, make, did try and mean to make a corner. But because of my poor driving skills, I could not do that. Right, okay, I don't want to go too deep in the water, otherwise we'll get reset. Oh, okay, that's just a shadow. I thought that was like the really dark blue stuff. But... Oh, shut up, computer. Needs an update. Needs an update. My left bum cheek. Um, we are not going to update you. Right, yeah. We're back on track. This is good. It's taken us 20 more minutes than it should do. Um, well, no, it wouldn't take 20 more minutes. Otherwise, it would be the end of the video. Um, but anyway, let's carry on. Those cars come in. Let's hope they've seen us. Yes, they have. Um, oh, that's a very low car. I believe that's another Hot Wheels car, actually. Um, we might be able to have a look at that later in this series. I approve of your big wing at the back of your car there. Um, we're going to tell you we approve by hitting your car. Um, not just saying by like a normal person would by saying we approve. Um, right, we've got a few tight corners now. Uh, wow, you are a big truck. Um, now, which way do we go now? Oh, we don't even need to go up there. We just do a quick tight turn and let's just quickly make it into a 360 just to make it look like it's intentional. Now 720 to make it look like that 360 was overshot intentionally. There we go. I think that was a good recovery. Let's try and do what we were meant to do on this corner. Yep, there we go. Um, oh, we still hit the wall. Right, yeah. Anyway, let's just forget about that journey. It was two times longer than it, what it should have been. So our targets are to win the race, finish the race, uh, well, finish the race is easy, medium is finish the race and win the race, finish the race and win the race, and the lap time of 1.55 is hard. Let's go straight into it, blah, 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 um, let's go with this one, and we could, like, grab a lovely quick car, the BMW X5, I know I said it's quite heavy and quite top-heavy, head heavy, top-heavy in the last episode, but in this episode, um, let's just go with it, 
Um, I'm going to take my glasses off, actually, because they're really annoying me with my headset on. And I'm going to have a sip of water to drink. That was a very nice sip of water. Jeez, it is hot in Britain today. Um, if you're watching this in Britain, comment down below how you're feeling, because for most of us Brits, we're used to the cold weather, and now it's stupidly hot. You know, people in America are going to be laughing at us. Well, some places in America. Oh, shut up, you stupid person. Somebody's speaking in my ear. Um, yeah, I don't know how hot it normally is in America, but if you're watching this in Australia, I know it's normally hot over there. Um, yeah. It's 27 degrees, and for us, that's like an oven. So, yeah. Right, okay, we're going to get straight into this. Start race. We are in our BMW X5, and let's go, go, go. Righty, o d o t leodo. Yeah, that was, that's a proper word. Um, right, okay, and straight on the brakes for the first corner. We've hit every single car in our view. I believe I've actually seen someone do this course before. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I should be... A bit feminine, flim, how would you say it? Familiar, 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 that's it. Oh my god, oh, that was a brilliant save. Wow, oh my days, there is a ramp there. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, we literally just drifted past everyone there. We're going to fly into this corner. Oh dear, we've just lost all of our skill points, but that's okay because it's about the lap time on this one. Not the um, not the uh, XP points like we did last time. And through the big fiery hoop, we there we go, and landed it perfectly straight onto the boost again for this really sharp left hander. It probably not that sharp actually when you go around it, and I probably break, braked, broke. There we go for no reason whatsoever. But we are in first place. We are leading this race. By a big margin here now. Oh dear, don't say that, Ben. Otherwise, you're going to do something like that. Congratulations. Don't know why I just didn't take the quicker route. But this is actually quite short compared to the other one. Um, just depends if you're going slower or quicker around the corner. So, yeah. I don't think we've lost too much. Actually, I say that. I don't think we've lost too much time. But now there is a person right behind us. And I can see them on the mini-map. Can't see them anymore, though, because we are an expert driver. And we've managed to pull away. Um... We, I don't think this lap's going to be a 155, I don't believe, because we did start from a standing start. If it is a 155, um, well, that's happy days for me. I just need to concentrate on winning. But it's uh, 150 now. Can they get to the line in five seconds? Come on. 53, 54, 55. No, we're just over. But we got a flying start there. So um, that's going to cost us a few seconds there at the wall. That was a shocking first corner. Um, this is a two-lap race, so this is the lap that counts. So I didn't realise that. I thought it was three laps. You can see where everyone's been skidding coming over that boost there. Come on, don't hit the, don't hit the wall. I'm going to lose all my speed. And no, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't do this. Save it. No. Or quickly, quickly, carry on, carry on going, carry on going. I'm going to try and block this guy. No, we didn't do it. Come on. Is he in a Supra? No wonder he's beaten as if he's in a flipping Supra. It looked like a Supra from where I was sat. Once again, power sliding around all these corners, hitting every wall, left, right and centre. Uh, right, yeah, so we're just going to use this wall at the top as a break. Why not? Our car's pretty much already damaged enough. I can't really see it, tell if that's a Supra or not. Um, we Here we go through the big fiery hoop. Not going to aerial overtake him there. We're not quite close enough for that shenanigans. Um, he might have been in the Supra, you know. It may have looked like that. I don't know. I can't quite tell. Um, TV's quite small. Anyway, we're back in the lead. I do not believe this lap's going to be a, a 55. We're going to go this way. There's no point in trying to risk it going the shorter way. Um, I don't know where the Supra has gone. I'm just going to pretend it's the Supra for now. Um, actually, I think it might be quicker to go that way. I don't know. I mean, it's easier to go that way, and it's less of a risk. It might be a little bit longer, but if you get it right, maybe you can hold a bit more speed there is an ai just waiting uh, on the road at the side of the track here i don't know what he is doing um i think he's got a bit lost you can see that on the mini map i don't know if he can but um yeah uh, where are we going now we're going this way this is a problem without having with having no racing line on um you don't know which way you're going most of the time and can we make no this lapse of two minutes that's shocking 
two stars though, I still think that's enough to get into A class and we can carry on from where I thought we were. Uh, so where are we? Oh, it's so hot at the moment. Have I already told you? I know I have told you. That was a rhetorical question, by the way. Um, yeah, but it's really hot. So if I sound a bit drained, it's because I am drained. We got two stars there, like I expected. Um, so we should be able to get into A class, which we did do last episode. Um, yes, here we go. A class. I've just been told to hold on to my hair. I'm now currently holding on to my hair. None of you can see it. Ow, just cr 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 cracked my fingers. Um, right here, we're going to try and have a go at this race course here. Um, and obviously hit the wall first just for good measure. Um, Rightio. Actually, I want to try a street race with someone on Hot Wheels first. Hello, mister. Um, do you want to have a quick um, race? It says go. Right, there was no 3, 2, 1 thing. We, I just pressed OK. It just said go. Um, so I'm just going to go to where it says to on my map, which I do believe was the location where I set it to. Um, is that an update for the whole of Horizon, or is that just an update for this, or something special for this? Can we just cut across here? Yes, we, no, we can't. There's a wall there. Lovely jubbly. We're about to get overtaken, and there is no way for us to get back onto the road. That is Tree Mendors. Right, I do believe we have lost this race because we couldn't take the road the way it was meant to be taken. See, tortoiseandthehair.com. That was literally the whole meaning of the story, you know, don't take shortcuts. But he didn't really take a shortcut, did he? He just ran off at the start. Anyway. We are driving to our next event. Let's just forget about this whole racing that we're doing. We're driving to our next event. We nearly went over the barrier once again. Uh, once again, I approve of that person's mighty wing back. Right, okay, I'm going to a power slide around this corner. What a, well, I want a lovely power slide because I overcorrected a tad. Um, ah, we were heading the wrong way. Um, so, yeah, that's quite bizarre because I have no idea where I, he where I was heading. I thought I was heading to the same location that I put on the map. Um, I don't know whether that's the same on Horizon. Oh, dearie me. Let's just try and do a bit of this drift zone. Um, I'm not very good at the drift zones, as you can probably tell. Um, is that just... Oh, no, this is all drift zone up here as well. So let's power slide around this bit here. Um, oh, so is this bit down here. You probably need a bit more of a powerful car to do drift zones in than this, because I don't think this is a very drift zonally modified car. Um, right, yeah, we've finished that. That was a bit of a pointless thing. Speed boost, whoopie do. I've got my hands off the controller as I'm itching my eyebrow as we're coming up towards a corner. I should probably not do that. Okay, so here is our first A class event, and we are going to be doing this in the Bone Rattler, I think it is. Um, let's have a look at the car. Um, Sort manufacturer. Would it be under hot? Yes, here we go. The bone shaker. There we go. Right here. So, yeah, we're going to be doing our first ever race in a Hot Wheels car. Well, we did a blueprint event, not a, a, a not a blueprint event, a bucket list challenge. Um, in the last episode, but this will be our first official proper racy thing. I'm actually going to have another sip of water, lovely jubbly, and shut my curtains so I can see the TV a bit more clearly because the sun is beaming right onto my curtains now. Um, so, Thrill City Turbo Sprint, what a name for a racetrack. So, without further ado, guys, let's get straight into this. So we counted down for the start, well there was no countdown, it was just to go, so off we go now, our first checkpoint is very close and we do not want to be cut in the corner there, this looks like to be just a point to point race, that was a very risky overtake there and onto the boost pads straight away, we're not messing around, there is a big um, what's the face warthog up our inside there which we have just flown past because we are an expert driver, um, well I mean I wouldn't go that far actually. Um, but yes, we are doing quite well. Challenge progress. Oh, I forgot about this. 
Um, yeah, I forgot about the challenges. I just really want to win this race. Then I should be able to get enough stars. Well, I think it's about drifts, actually, because it seems that every time I do a drift, I get a point. So 15 drifts, I believe. Let's try it. Yep, yeah, it's definitely drift. Right, okay, so we're going to go through the water now, which is a big old oh dear. Um, yeah, that was that was shocking. Right, okay, let's try and go again. Come on, go car, go car, go car. Oh, dearie me, we're not doing well. We're not doing well. We're not doing well. We're stuck, we're stuck, we're stuck. Guys, there's no way we're going to win after that one. I'm going to restart the race. Deary me, that was a shocking one, guys. Do you agree? If you do agree, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you have not liked the video, like it right now. Uh, let's try and aim five likes. That will be brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. Lovely, jubbly. So we are loading up the start of the race again. Once again, um, let's just say three, two, one, go. Lovely. That was perfectly timed, actually. Um, so we're going to do pretty much the same thing again. Um, try and go up the inside of everyone. In this corner here. No, we're not. Because there's going to be a Mercedes there. We have one wheel off the track at that moment there. That was very scary. We're not going to mess around with the Warthog this time. Not Warthog. Warthog. Um, no. So we just go straight up the inside of it. And um, there's no messing around there. So we're going to do another slight drift there to increase the challenge progress. Um, all these cars are breaking. I mean, <laughs> who needs to break around this sort of course? Deary me. Um, right, yeah. so we're now doing another drift. That was an awesome drift. And there's another one there. And um, can we fit in another one? Only if we get off the back end of this car. Um, we're going over here now. Now let's break as we come off the track and onto the water. So remember, we don't have traction control on. So either on the throttle, we lose a few positions because AI have traction control. Uh, but hopefully we can get that back. He literally just aerial overtakes so us. And we've been overtaken again by the Warthog. Come on, up the inside. There we go. We're up to 10 out of 15. Can we make that 11? No, we can't. Not at the moment. Anyway, um, we hit the signs. Good job they were there. Otherwise, we would have, um, well, had a bad day. Up the inside of everyone. That was a bad thing to do as I've literally just hit the wall and lost all momentum. But I think that actually did work out better for us because we are a lot closer now and we are stuck on the back end of this Beamer. Uh, none of the AIs dare to go as low down as I do, but, you know, if you're going to do well in motorsport, you need to learn how to take risks. And I took a risk there, and this has paid off. Um, can we try and get these 15 drifts in before the end of the race? I mean, we're only on 38%, so it's looking good for us because we're already on 10 by the sounds of it. Um, not sounds of it, by the looks of it. Um, there's 11, there's 12. Can we get 13? Yes, we can. 13. He's got the boost pad before us in the Warthog. Let's try and overtake him around the outside. There we go. The advantages of having... A lighter car over those boost pads. There's 14. There is 15. We've got 15 out of 15. The Warthog has overtaken us again. We just need to try and control the wheel spin that we get in here. Oh, dear. Rumi, this is an intense race. Now let's try and go up the inside of the Warthog here. He's gone very wide, uh, breaking into this uh, blue section here. Um, probably doing a bit of unnecessary braking. And now we're starting to go upside down again. I believe we're going to go upside down. 150 miles an hour. No, it's just a very steep wall right there. So now we come back down the hill. It looks like there's a bit of a chicane in front of us. Oh my gosh, there's a boost pad as well. Lovely jubbly. And we're going to slide around this bit here. Um, luckily, we did take a break. So that uh, we did use the brake. So that bump wasn't as vicious as it could have been. Right here. So we're now coming. Uh, hello, cat. Um, our cat has decided, or my cat has decided to join us. Um, yes, yes, shut up, shut up, cat. I'm commentating. Go away. Right, yeah, thank you. It's gone away now. Um, okay, so we've done the blue bit, and now this is scary. This is scary indeed. If we lose momentum now, that is it. We've fallen off, and we have lost this race. 85% complete, coming up to 90%. As we go over the boost pad, we didn't want to get that one wrong, otherwise you would have gone straight into that barrier there. And once again, we've got another split coming down here. And wow, we don't want to take too much speed through there. Otherwise, we're going to lose more speed. And we're coming up to the finish line, guys. I've always wanted to do this. Let's finish over the line in backwards. I said in backwards. I meant in reverse. I hope you understood what I meant. I mean, I kind of wish I didn't do that now because I've just seen this boost pad with a massive jump past the finish line, which I would have liked to see my AI driver contend, contend with. And there we go, guys. I think, oh, we've just 
accidentally done a four zip on. Rightio. So that is brilliant. Leading the way, we got an achievement. Lovely, jubbly, and three medals. So, 15 medals to get to S1 class, I think it would be. V, A, S1, S2, then it's X class, isn't it? Okay, then, guys. I think we've got time for one more race. Um, are we going to do new car to collect? What's this? So let's have a look at the falls upon quickly, see if we can do anything else. Get three stars on a speed zone in an extreme track toy to win the per Persia, Porsche 911 Turbo S. I will do that. Should we do that now? Hmm. We can try and do that now. Let's do that. I'll tell you what. We'll do that in the next video. Because I'm literally going to um, record the next video now. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to try and do this bucket list here. Number one of the Forza Horizon um, Hot Wheels edition thing. I really need to know what this is called because I'm shocking at what whenever I'm trying to say what it is. It's a... Hot Wheels expansion pack. Yes, there we go. Oh my god, there's a car there. Whoa. I was going to do a drift around the corner and then saw a car. That would have been painful if I didn't notice the car. I do actually quite like this car. The interior is lovely. Um, the problem is it's just too wheel spinny. Um, yeah, any throttle control you do, it always still ends in wheel spin. And the fact that when you're doing these sort of loops, you cannot see any cars in front of you to save your life. That is quite a cool camera view. It makes it feel like you're in a, um, an open cockpit. Car, oh, dearie me. I want to go around the corner. I had my foot on the brakes all that time. And just because we hit the boost as well with my foot on the brakes. Um, it didn't boost the braking. It boosted the accelerating, which just would have set fire to the brakes in real life. Um, yeah, because it just would have done. Right, okay. I forgot what we were trying to do now. Were we going? Yeah, we're going to do another bucket list, weren't we? Um, right here, so we're going to come around here. Can you see what I mean about all this wheel spin? You can't even keep the... Jeez, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Through the loop. What happens if you don't make it? Wee Blob. Right, okay, I'm going to rewind that. I just wanted to see what happens. Um, nothing exciting. You just miss it and everything goes wrong. So we're just going to accelerate over this. That's good speed there, and um, we've got another, oh dear, I didn't even want to go that fast. Oh, this is going to be interesting. How am I meant to get the bucket list thing if there's a boost pad right where it is? I think it's actually underneath this. Um, so maybe we were meant to use the brakes, and um, it's just by chance... I did that and I accidentally did it wrong. I'm just going to drop off the edge here. Um, oh, dear me. This car must have some seriously good. Um, no, I don't want to still be here. Why am I here? No, just just stop, you stupid game. Just put me where I want to go. Right, okay, we're going to accelerate and then last minute break. This car must have some stupidly good... Um, shock absorbers if it managed to do that and still have the right suspension um right here i'm here yes here we go oh we're in a lovely mini mini cooper oh it's nice and dark conquer the hyperloop the mini cooper 12 hmm conquer the hyperloop i am interested to see what this hyperloop is race to the destination it says uh, I assume you can't hear the car uh, or the um, audio in the background. But just, just in case you can, I'm going to turn off the radio to avoid copyright. And we are going to try and conquer the Hyperloop. So this is a timed thing. So no mistakes are allowed. Right here, let's see. I think 1 minute 30 we need to be. Yes, it is. We're on 1 minute 25 at the moment. Let's try and keep pushing. Um, I've just come out of the bone shaker, as you can see see and um this car feels very very slow i believe this is a hyperloop wow i just saw a bit up there and um, you can't really see it now um as we're coming down we're staying very low trying not to lose any speed whatsoever that wall hitting the wall there's going to lose us a bit of speed but it's okay because we got boost here all the way up to 180 miles an hour we got up to 
Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, save it. No. Um, wow, we are flying. We are flying. Can we land it? No, we can't. Straight in the water. Do you reckon we can still do it? Come on. There's, there's always hope, guys. 20 seconds left. Let's try and do it. Power. Quickly, quickly, quickly. There's the dest destination up there. Five seconds to try and get a few yards. Come on. Oh, so close. But we managed to do it. Um, a bit cheatily. We still did it, though. What a way to end the episode. We've now got nine things. So in the next episode, hopefully we should be able to unlock the S2 class, S1 class car. Let's not try and get too ahead of ourselves. Anyway, that was Hot Wheels Expansion Pack on Forza Horizon 3. Yes, I finally said it properly. Please like, subscribe, um, like, subscribe, and like, subscribe, and comment if you have not done so already. Um, and until next video, guys, which will probably be episode 3 of this. I've been Vernon Gaming, and I'll see you then. Goodbye. For now. Until next time. I should probably stop talking. Okay. Please like, subscribe, comment if you haven't done so already. I'm moving and going. Until next video, guys, I've just got hit by BMW i8. Goodbye.